Hi guys, how are you? How are you? It's a very good morning from this side and I'm heading to my last day uh, in my business conference and it's been great uh, investing in yourself and just reminding yourself who you are and your dreams. So welcome back uh, to Eswakago YouTube channel and usually this is where we inspire we inform and we also uh, encourage people it's a little bit chilly here and i just wanted to freeze and shine a little bit i do have a jacket here but um for the sake of the camera i just wanted to to be without the jacket uh, the car is heating in a little bit it's gonna be just okay so <clears throat> Guys, I have a lot to say, but I can only say one thing at a time. Um, on our today's video, I would want to talk to someone, just one person, one person. I would want to talk to someone who think um, they are nobody. I would want to talk to that person who thinks that they're gonna be poor up until they die i'm gonna talk to that person who feels like the world is just unfair at the moment because nothing good nothing good seems to come out of them and i would want to tell you this i was there one time i was there one time and i know how it feels i know how it feels and i felt it I personally felt it I would want you to believe that there is a God of another chance of course you have heard that so many times but I just want to remind you that you are not forgotten and there is a day in your life when all this shall be behind you and you will never ever again remember what you went through unless when you will be reminiscing on the past not in a bad way not because they not because of whatever bad thing you're gonna be going through but because you you will be looking back just to see how far you have come guys like i always say i teach with my own story I tell you, before I come to America, I used to live in Dendora Phase 4 and there are so many people who are going to watch this video and they are going to attest to this. I used to, to live in Dendora Phase 4 and most of the time I could feel I was not living the life that I would want but I didn't know how to make it better for myself or for my kids. I had two kids by the time I left Kenya and life wasn't that much good um, and when I say that uh, I didn't have any job I didn't have um, any any credible income but in in me or deep within me I had hope the only thing I had was hope because I could see myself in a bigger way even though I was very much very much humble I could see myself or I could see images pictures of myself being a great person some someday the someday was unknown to me I didn't know how far I am away from the day I didn't know uh, how long I will have to wait for the day to come but you know what who is like God who is like God imagine he makes things turn and within no time I am the same one talking about when I was poor when I was when I was I would want God to work a miracle for you to be talking of bad things as they are in the past not what you are going through today especially in terms of financial breakthrough we know so many people struggle because of finances 
even if it is about um, ailment or anything bothering you, it is because it requires finances. And I know God can do that for you. And whenever you hear people say, when I used to struggle financially, just take that statement as that person is trying to say they no longer struggle financially because God did something. And you cannot do it for yourself. If I if it was to take me to get myself out of poverty, I'm going to tell you this for free. Up to date, I'll still be struggling there. God made a way, a, a mysterious, in a mysterious way, in a miraculous way. God made a way in the wilderness when I, I, I least expected, when I least expected that I can be somewhere driving a car and I didn't even own a bike. Man, when I talk of the greatness of God, I talk from the deepest core of my heart because my story tells it all. I'm telling you with my story. This is something I've been through. This is something God took me out of. And I am so much grateful. I'll forever be grateful to God because man it took god it didn't take my dad because my dad would would have wanted to see me progressing well um but he didn't have that um ability to change my life to change my story it took god who changes things in a span of a minute and the next thing you are in a whole different world where you will never ever again struggle because of little things i'm not saying right now if you you need um one million dollars i'm gonna be able to provide but what i'm trying to say is that i no longer struggle with the little things i used to struggle with i no longer do that i i, I drive a car i didn't used to I didn't even think I would ever drive one because my problems at the moment had confined me to just worrying about what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna dress, how I'm gonna dress my kids. That was how life used to be. It's no longer there. I no longer think about those stuff because God made life to turn or change in a very bigger way. And I'm so, so much grateful and the reason as to why I give my story is to make someone believe that maybe your father is not a famous person. Maybe in your family, there is nobody that looks like someone who can be relied with to get you out of your situation. But there is a God in heaven who can do that without needing any fundraiser. God doesn't need fundraiser. Yes, he uses people. And thank you for those people who allows God to use them and God uses people but he commands them he do command them to go and help the person that he wants to remove from a certain situation my God God is so great and I will never ever sing about any other song if it is not for my God he can take you out of anywhere he can multiply you are three coins to become everything you need in life to make you stop worrying about what you're gonna eat tomorrow because he has given you enough for today tomorrow and even days to come the secret is however as I come to conclude this the secret of all this is remain humble do not forget where God took you from if God fought for you if God held your hand and now you are in a better situation than you used to be, the good thing you can do, the best thing you can do to this God is to remain humble, is to always remain thankful, always appreciate everything God has done for you. And you can do that, that in so many ways, like giving back and any other way that God can help you to manifest his grace upon your life guys it is so so good when 
you are very sure that it is not you it is not your work it is not the work of the community it is not the work of your dad it is not the work of your mom but the work of god because the work of god will never end it will never get finished by anybody else the work that god started it can only be finished by him so the work of god is secure you feel safety uh, god is just awesome because he is above everything else that we see that we've ever heard and his power is the power above any other power guys I'm heading to my last day of my conference my business conference and it feels good it feels good I just wanted to say that yeah it's a nice morning here and I'm approaching Kansas City where the conference is and if you watched my video yesterday you did see um, where we went yesterday and I'm, I'm going to the same same place today and guys just keep faith keep hope never cease praying never cease trusting god even when you feel like it's too too much for you the only one thing that you should let to remain constant is trusting in god the bible says those who trust in him they will never become weary you will never ever become weary you will never ever lose hope if you trust in god even when it doesn't seem like it's possible to trust in him just trust in him because his word is true god is true and he is not a man that he should lie i rely so much with those words and i know they mean a lot in my life because they have been working for me even when things are too tight because i will come back one day to give you a story of my life but that one gonna require you to have uh, several handkerchiefs and also you will also require some popcorns and I don't know um, I don't know whether you will make it to eat the popcorns or you will concentrate with crying but you know what God is faithful and God is his grace is very sufficient very sufficient I don't know how I can explain this God of mine but I love my God so much I love him so so much he is everything that i was everything i am everything that i will be and i'm so so grateful he knows that my heart is always full of gratitude because god is faithful and he has been faithful in my life and he is faithful even when you think you think he's not faithful to you he is faithful and on his day on the right day at the right time god will come and he will change your story bye bye guys i'm approaching kansas city i'm gonna go and find a parking lot and then get in and join the people uh the business partners for a church and then after we're gonna uh, wrap up our conference so guys see you when you see me bye bye